All right, well, I've got junk everywhere, but I uh, wanted to show you the progress of my, uh, my bar here inside of my machine shed. Um, what I got going right now is uh, forming up some concrete, uh, forming up some countertops for concrete pour. Um, so what I did here is I've got uh, basically some uh, posts and two by four framing and it's kind of hard to see. I didn't want to form right into the, uh, into my two by fours. Uh, so what I did was I came up under here, uh, put, a, put a, basically a two by two screwed up from the bottom and then did that all the way around um, under, on the openings. Uh, you can see along here. And then on top of that, then I put in uh, two by sixes uh, all the way around. And then up on top of that, then I've got this melamine. Um, so I think I got a few, well, what size were those? Four foot by 18 inches maybe. Uh, just ripped them down and uh, screwed those into the two by sixes. So that's why I I framed it out for the uh, for the forms. Um, the sink here was a little tricky. I can show you what that looks like here. So you obviously got to get it just right. Um, but these corners. Uh, were the trickiest part. Um, I basically had some leftover flashing from another project and uh, just kind of wrapped it around in here, um, screwed it in. Uh, somewhere on the outside, somewhere on the inside, just kind of depending where my boards ended up. And then the, the bottom of the sink's got these, these channels in it. So you gotta make sure you work around those. Um, then, uh, I use some of these, these are just like, uh, Romex, uh, staples. Um, I figured they'd work about as good as anything here. So I just, uh, tie wrapped on my landscape fabric or, or reinforcement fabric, whatever this stuff is called. Uh, so that'll make the concrete a little bit stronger. And, um, uh, anyway, uh, put a little tape around the edges. Hopefully I don't make too huge of a mess. Oh, I guess the other thing I did was uh, on the back here, um, this little L flashing, I guess I'd call it. It's actually uh, kind of a vinyl or plastic. Um, it's actually used for uh, decks. Like when you uh, put a deck up against a house, uh, you basically put this lip uh, on the two by eight, two by 10, whatever you got on your, that you put on your house. And then this part goes up underneath of your siding on your house. But anyway, that, that, uh, it's got like a quarter inch or so, uh, lip here, um, which I thought would be perfect for when I, uh, run my screed across the concrete. Uh, it's kind of a leveling mechanism there. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at so far. Um, I'll give it an update once I get the the pour going or once I'm done with the 